In our previous section of the course, I did introduce you to the concept of network communication protocols, but in this lecture, we're going to take a deeper dive and we're going to talk about it a bit more. So let's go ahead and let's get started. So remember when we talk about protocols in general, they are rules for communication. And when we are talking about computers communicating with one another, they have to follow what we call communication protocols. And so really, when we're talking about communication protocols, it's rules that govern how a computer can communicate with another to be able to send data back and forth. And if they don't follow these rules, then they're not going to be able to communicate because there's going to be errors that happen across the way. And we did some real life examples and a real life example would be calling somebody on your phone. And that's a really easy way to really bring this to light and show it in a non IT manner. Now, another one is driving your car. So just like calling on the phone, there's certain rules you have to follow. And when you're driving your car, there's rules of the road. You have to obey the speed limit. You have to put your blinker on when you, when you switch lanes. And if you don't, then there's consequences. You can get a speeding ticket. You can get a ticket for driving improperly, or potentially you could even get in an accident. So, you know, when we are thinking about communication protocols, or if we're thinking about protocols in general, just remember that those are rules and we have to follow those rules. So let's talk about these protocols in a bit more detail. Let's revisit our physical protocols and our logical protocols. So what is the physical protocol? Well, it's just like the name implies, it's the actual physical portion of the network. And so when we're thinking about, remember thinking about a network at its most simplest form, where we have two computers connected by one medium, one cable, well, that actual cable with its connectors on the end and the network interfaces that it plugs into, that's the physical protocols right there. And even the electrical signals that are going back and forth from one computer to the next, that's part of the physical protocol. Now, on the flip side, we have our logical protocols. So the logical protocols is really how software controls how the data is sent and received and really how it's interpreted. So we have our machine code and we have all of our other programming languages in place where the software interprets it, interprets that actual physical signal going back and forth and it interprets it as a logical protocol. Now it's okay if you really don't understand this and it doesn't make that much sense. It's that much sense. It's going to make a lot more sense as we go through the course. So in computer networks, there's all sorts of different protocols. Physical protocols and logical protocols are just really higher categories of protocols, but there is one suite of protocols really that is the bedrock of communications on many networks today, and that's called the TCP IP suite of protocols. And we're going to be talking about that in detail later in the course, but I did decide to give you some examples just to introduce it to you here in this lecture. I just decided to give you some of the more popular ones. So when we communicate over the internet with our web browsers, we use HTTP and you see that every single day when you go ahead and you type in something like as simple as google.com, you'll see HTTP colon forward slash forward slash www.google.com. Now for email, if you have an email client like Outlook and you set it up, you'll be familiar with POP3, SMTP, and IMAP. These are the standard protocols that govern how we can send emails across internets. And networks. And then lastly, FTPs is a really familiar and really commonly used networking protocol in the TCP IP suite. So if you've ever uploaded anything to the internet, you may have done it with the FTP protocol. And so those are some of the more popular and more common protocols in the TCP IP suite. But don't feel like you have to understand them now because we're going to talk about them in a great level of detail later in the course. I just wanted to introduce them to you here in this lecture. So if you have any questions about networking protocols and communication protocols and physical protocols and logical protocols, please feel free to let me know with a question on the discussion board. If not, thanks for watching and we'll see you at the next lecture.